Experience the excitement, the speed, the adrenaline of high-performance racing on an all-new vertical speedway. Introducing Top Thrill 2, the world's tallest and fastest triple launch strata coaster. Buckle in and smoke the competition on this extreme motorsport machine. Launch three times at speeds reaching 120 miles per hour. Drive the sky at 420 feet. Pump the brakes, cross the finish line. Take that victory lap. Get revved up on Top Thrill 2. Coming to Cedar Point, 2024. Welcome back to Kernication. Today we're here at the Cedar Point Media Event to where Cedar Point is releasing the latest news, Top Thrill 2. This is their triple launch, record-breaking LSM launch roller coaster, or the reimagining of the previous attraction, Top Thrill Dragster. It's been confirmed that there is going to be a spike, a vertical spike. So the way the roller coaster is going to operate is you're going to get launched forward once at 74 miles an hour, roll back and get a reverse launch at 100 miles an hour, and then go all the way up this brand new vertical spike that's going to change the skyline here at Cedar Point, and then go down to be launched 120 miles an hour to make it up and over the top hat. So in this video, we're gonna be getting exclusive interviews with Zamperla and Tony Clark. Uh, we're gonna go, be going behind the wall to check out the construction area. And we're gonna get exclusive footage of the first support for the spike getting put into place. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this real family vacation. All right, welcome back to Kernication. Thanks for watching. So I wanted to start this video off with some of the footage that Cedar Point provided of the ride in full operation. Alright, as soon as we got to the park here on Media Day, I was actually able to meet up with Adam from Zamperla for an interview. Good morning, Adam. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. Good. We're here at Cedar Point for the announcement of Top Thrill 2. So we have Adam here from Zamperla. How are you doing today, Adam? Great. Is it okay if I ask you a couple questions? Sure, love to. Alright, fire away. So. Um, with the reimagining, uh, I noticed that the launch technology has changed. Mm -hmm. So from a hydraulic launch to LSM. Yeah. So can you tell me like what what the difference is? Yeah. So at I a mean, high level. So really, the the LSMs are considering how much weight we're moving so fast. They're actually pretty energy efficient, okay. which is great. And, and then also on these new trains, we're actually using an aluminum milled chassis. So that means that the, the trains are very light relative to traditional coaster trains. So okay. it's all one milled piece. There are no welds on it. So it's really next level coaster technology from us. Awesome. No, that sounds great. So I noticed, I think the, the trains are going to carry 20 people. Yes compared to, I think it was 18 previously mm -hmm. for this attraction. So I'm assuming like aluminum, newer technology allows you to get over the top hat with more people 
uh, and then le less weight on the train. Does that sound right? At yeah, all? no, okay. exactly, exactly. So the, okay. the whole goal is really to kind of use the LSMs, use the lighter train, and provide this new guest experience. Um, but also on the trains themselves, they're really open air, really comfortable. So we really have worked on these lightning trains for a few years to really create a roller coaster vehicle that we think is sort of next level for guest experience as part of that. Awesome. Um, are there any challenges with enhancing a ride uh, that you did originally manufacture? So, or is it simple like, or comparable to like taking your car to another mechanic to work on it. I'm sure it's more advanced than that, but like I just tried to think of you know something to compare it to. Yeah, um, so it's really for us, it's we we really focused on the new stuff. So that's uh -huh. really where all of our attention went from an engineering standpoint. So cool. we didn't that that's really been our focus the last 18 months is the new trains, new launch system, and new spike, and that's kind of really our scope for the project. Awesome. Speaking of the project, um, I know you you know we've got until 2024 next year, but what are some of the biggest challenges you foresee with this project? Uh, obviously, just with it being in the middle of the park, it, it is a challenging construction project. I mean, they, we've got great crew that they're using locally here to set it up with the Cedar Point team and Zamperla people. But yeah, like considering we got Iron Dragon right here, they're doing daily operations, we're gonna be working overnights and things. It's, it's a lot of time, effort, coordination to make something this big happen. Cool. Last question for you. So, some of the biggest challenges with this pre with the previous attraction were reliability and safety. So, what is Zamperla doing to help overcome some of those previous challenges? You know, I honestly can't speak to what was here before, but mm -hmm. I can say for us, you know, really with the Lightning Train is kind of being the core focus of design. You know, they are designed to today's latest safety standards and they are sort of that next generation technology. So we think from a reliability standpoint, it's gonna be a real, have a lot of uptime and offer that great guest experience. Perfect, thank you so much. Yeah, sure. Appreciate the time today. After getting the interview with Adam from Zamperla, we did notice that there was a lot of signage added to the construction wall. So as guests entered the park here at Cedar Point, they were able to see all of the new Top Thrill 2 details for the announcement day. Um, after uh, walking around a little bit on media day, we were able to catch up with Tony. Uh, Tony Clark, good morning, Tony. Good morning, how are you? Bright and early day, August 1st, big day for Cedar Point. Uh, is it okay if I ask you a few questions? I am more than happy to answer a few questions for you. Awesome, thanks so much. So, naming Top Thrill 2, mm -hmm. it feels like as soon as people see it, they're going to know exactly what they're in for. Big Thrills and 2.0. Is yeah. there anything else or you, you want to speak to about the name? It's a, it's a great question. You know, Top Thrill uh, is, is what people called the former uh, ride, and it has a lot, of, um, a lot of tribute to the last coaster. And so we wanted to continue that tribute as the world's first Stratocoaster here at Cedar Point and in the world. So that is why we kept that part of the name. And obviously the two is the second iteration of it. So it's pretty simple. Um, it, it pays tribute to that former ride, but also uh, signals that this is a completely new generation of ride, different kind of ride uh, and, and more technologically advanced ride. 2024, are we targeting opening day? That is a great question. We are targeting 2024. Okay, fantastic. Yes, 2024 <laughs> season. Yeah. Uh, for Cedar Point, their last newest coaster, the Wild Mouse, there was a lot of like theming. It has a story. It has characters. Uh, are we going to expect any sort of theming around like CP Cedar Point racing uh, for Top Thrill 2? Yeah, the essence of the ride is that anybody who comes into this whole area is basically part of the CP racing team. So whether you're a pit crew member who wants to sit on the bleachers and just watch the race happen, or if you want to climb into the racing vehicle and get on the course and race yourself, you can do that as well. So you're going to see that CP racing team theming throughout the area. And it's almost like going to a major uh, race where they have their own crew and that's their team and they're working on the wheels and everything and the changing uh, all the things out on the cars. That's what this is essentially. So uh, definitely not a specific type of racing, just the feeling of racing. So you're going to understand it real quick and you're going to get immersed in all of that too. So from the theming of the ride, the colors of the trains, the design of the trains, the, uh, the music in the area, the uniforms, all of that stuff kind of comes together to give you that, that CP racing team feel. With a, with a new attraction uh, this big, obviously, wait times are a concern. Is Cedar Point going to deploy anything like a virtual queue or is it going to be a part of like the Fast Lane Plus 
or early ent entry for so, next year? Yeah, a lot of people want to know those things. You know, uh, when when is it going to open? Is it going to be on early entry? Um, <laughs> is it going to be on the dining plan? That's <laughs> is a, it on the dining sometimes plan? Sometimes a weird No, it's not going to be on the dining plan. But those things are things we're working through right now to kind of plan out how the guest experience will be, whether that's for Fast Lane, Fast Lane Plus. Yeah, those kinds of things. Uh, there's no plans for virtual queue uh, right now, uh, but right today we're getting the word out that this is coming in 24. And of course, we'll make some changes and some choices before we open it, but we'll communicate those well in advance of the of the season. Uh, Safety is always a top concern uh, with an attraction. Uh, will guests expect to see like the metal detectors and um, locker systems similar to what Steel Vengeance has? You know, the, the currently today, the loose article policy is what it is on most of our major coasters that have significant dynamic forces. So things like Maverick, Steel Vengeance, um, Millennium Force even. Um, so loose articles will obviously not be permitted because that's kind of our policy on the, the higher level of thrill that we have at the park. Uh, specifics beyond that, we're still uh, working with the manufacturer to figure out what that's gonna be, but we'll definitely put that on the website. We'll communicate that to people and they'll see that when they come to the park. There will be lockers available, of course, if you want to leave your uh, belongings in there while you ride. But more details on that as we get closer to the season. Awesome. That's all I have for you. Thanks right. so much for your time, Tony. Hey, come ride. <laughs> Absolutely. Come ride. <laughs> so here at Media Day, we do have a preview of the merchandise. So for Top Thrill 2. Lots of colors. I really like the gray. So here they do have a little preview section open for us to check out. So they're getting ready. They're going to hoist this support into place. That's what this big crane is here for. I know there's been a lot of buzz online, people seeing this come in, but this is going to be one of the sports for the spike. So they're doing something really cool. So this is uh, one of the supports that they're actually gonna lift into place and uh, they're letting everybody at the Media Day sign it. So we're gonna represent Kernication and give it a signature. Apologize for my handwriting. Good to see our coping. I just come here. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I haven't seen this guy forever. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready. They're going to hoist up the first support here. They walked us over to Iron Dragon queue. They're going to hoist it up from over here into this location here. All right, they're lifting the support up. And this was a pretty cool experience. So we got to watch them hoist these three supports into, into place uh, for the spike. So. Um, we'll be keeping an eye on the construction as it moves forward throughout the rest of the season. So if you're new here, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. So I really hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.